Games, Brains of Bang Life here with a reaction video to the Resident Evil 8 official trailer, part of the PlayStation 5 showcase. A little bit slow on this one, it has been a long ass week, but finally had time to sit down, put this trailer on. I have watched it once before, well, basically when it came out, because obviously once you saw Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil Village, uh, he was like, I've got to check that out. But uh, it was sort of watching it, scanning through it and going, nope, you know what, I'm going to come back to that when we do the reaction, which is now... A big Resident Evil fan. It's been part of my entire um, childhood up to my very grown-up adult life. Uh, you wouldn't believe my age now. And, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this series. Uh, I adore Resident Evil 1. I adore Resident Evil 2. I very much like Resident Evil 3. I like the re-releases, the remakes that we got of both those two games. Uh, I think the GameCube, the you know, the GameCube version of Resident Evil, that was the Resident Evil remake, and then was given a HD treatment on the later consoles, I think is one of the finest games ever made. I love Resident Evil 4. 5, 6, uh, 5 and 6, obviously, like many people, have mixed feelings on them. A lot of the spin-offs, like Code Veronica, I think is one of the best Resident Evils. Uh, Resident Evil Zero is great. Yeah, big fan, seeing all the movies as well. Very, very hit and miss, obviously. Even read the SD Perry books. Uh, which are also very hit and miss. So, and I loved Resident Evil 7. For me, Resident Evil 7 was a real return to form for the series as a whole. So, I'm aware this one obviously is sticking to that first person style. Very excited to check it out. Let's do it. His story comes to a close. Whose story? Chris. Looks nice. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest deep. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. Okay. You're really into that stuff. Quit being so paranoid. No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Oh, look at those graphics, man. They're coming. Who is? Oh, wow. Okay, let's bring it straight back to that frame. So, you are playing as Ethan then, uh, the protagonist, um, the main star of Resident Evil 7. That's kind of cool. And that's Chris there looking older, certainly older. So, when it, this must be set, certainly some time after the events of 7, I would imagine. Um, f first off, trailer's great. I really, really like that. Uh, I love that introduction, slow to tell the story. He looks fantastic. The detail on him. You know, it looks like I get some big bad. Location looks wonderful. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's 
unfair to say, and I have seen this, that there's um, a, certainly a Resident Evil 4 vibe coming from this. Obviously with its location. Although less of that um, kind of slave mind it, it virus, I imagine. There's so much detail flying through these screens. It's a really well done trailer because it really doesn't give much away at all. At all. Uh, you know, character wise, who are all these people? Yeah, look at this detail. I absolutely love it. Looks like we get some definitely kind of witchy, like almost Outlast style stuff. I wonder how much inspiration they've taken from Outlast, uh, like two, Outlast two, I'm thinking of on this. That's wicked. Look at the lighting and look at that. And these, these characters here, whoever this woman is, she seems like the big bad uh, almost of the game just by the uh, stature, what she's wearing and so on. But looks fantastic. That place looks great. That's, is that a zombie? There we go. Is that's, you know, is that, that, that's very reminiscent of the, uh, look at him, the man from uh, Resident Evil um, 5. Did he appear in 4? 5, innit? The one with the giant axe slash hammer. So we might get some serious tying into this series. Whereas obviously 7 didn't really up till, until a certain point. Like, who's that guy? Up to a certain point. Where was she eating there? Um... We've got some sort of special op team by the look of it. Is that eating someone? I don't know. I don't know. I can't quite make out what that is. But yeah, it does look really, really good. I think as well, like Capcom... Capcom have kind of earned back our trust over the last couple of years with Resident Evil 7 being such a good game and obviously the re-releases, remakes of Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3. I think they've uh, hopefully... Hopefully turned a corner for all of that and remembered, oh yeah, people want their Resident Evil games to be horror games. Um, you know, as much as I love Resident Evil 7, my one big kind of negative is the the lack of massive amounts of connections to the... I love Resident Evil as a series. Yeah, we have our flaw. It has its flaws and certain stories and all that. So I do hope this ties a little bit more into the, the lore and the world it created uh even if it also retcons certain things that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing but the fact that the fact they're calling it resident evil 8 not like resident evil village so they are referencing the 8 seems that they're very aware that this is a continuation of that series that started way back in the 90s um yeah graphically it looks fantastic oh, i love the location that's going to be a lot of fun it's gonna be a lot of fun you know starting off potentially the forest going through kind of a villagey area ending up in a big castle very Resident Evil 4, but we'll see how that plays out, particularly played from the first person story, uh, first person side of things. Obviously, we get next to no story here at all, but the fact that it looks like not only is Chris in it, but it looks like it's Chris uh, weathered and tired and done and so on, which would tie into um, the likes of Resident Evil 6, um, how his character was in that more than anything else. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of exciting. But we'll see how that plays out. Now, look forward to what hopefully will be kind of gameplay trailer more than anything else. But I, for one, am stoked. Thank you very much for watching. You can check us out on GBHBell.com as well as on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Tumblr. Go to Patreon to help us out over there. That's patreon.com forward slash GBHBL as well as Big Cartel where you can find some of our merchandise. We have a podcast running on SoundCloud and Apple Podcasts. And of course, if you like this video, do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?